Hi, it's great to see you today. It's Monday, well actually it's Sunday, but I'm recording this because of the length of time it takes to get on here, so it's actually Sunday night, but this is Monday's devotion, 23rd of November. As you can see, my wife's cut my hair. She's done not a bad job. So I do, um, I really thank you for that, Karen. And um, um, I'm glad I'm doing this bit today. So she might have done, done a Van Gogh on me and chopped my ear off. But, um, but no, uh, just kidding, really, just kidding. No offence at all. Uh, but it's done, I think she's done a fantastic job there. Um, uh, brilliant. So anyway, cracking on with this. I'm going to read quite a few verses. I'm going to make just a few comments. This is far too complicated a thing to, to, to look at in, in just a small devotion. One thing just to bear in mind is actually when we're looking at Scripture, that we make sure that we, we t don't take verses out of context. So we need, when, we, when we read scripture, we need to think about um, who it was written to, when it was written to, what was the author's original intention, and what does that mean to us today? If we base our theology on just taking one verse out of context, that we can get into error, we can get into problems, and that is not a good place to be. We do not want to be in error, but we want to, to be following Jesus, loving Jesus, becoming more and more like him, and growing together and you know in fact it's fantastic that God has given us uh, many of us are married and God has given us partners not everyone's married and and, uh, and I do apologize for that and that's not perhaps this isn't quite so applicable for you except in that part of this it does talk about how that Christ is the head of the church and as we as Christians should submit to him as the head of the church which is so important so let's read these verses 22 through to verse 30. For wives, this means, sorry, I'm going to do 21 as well, and further, submit to one another out of reverence to Christ. For wives, this means to submit to your husbands as to the Lord. For a husband is, is the head of his wife, as Christ is the head of the church. He is the saviour of his body, the church. This is Christ. And as the church submits to Christ, so you wives should submit to your husbands in everything. For husbands, this means to love your wives just as Christ loved the church. He gave up his life for her to make her holy and clean, washed by the cleansing of God's word. He did this to present her, her to himself as a glorious church, without spot or wrinkle or any other blemish. Instead, she will be holy and without fault. This is talking about the church as well here, remember. In the same way, husbands ought to love their wives as they love their own bodies. For a man who loves his wife actually shows love for himself. No one hates his own body but feeds and cares for it just as Christ cares for the church and we are members of his body. So on Saturday I talked about an, in verse 21 and submit to one another out of reverence to Christ. The word there in submit is hypotasso. In verse 22 it says this means uh, why, for why this means submit to your husband. It's not the word hypotasso there it's idios um, which I believe has a sense of actually of belonging together there's a sense of uh, you know a husband and wife when you you know when you are married you become one flesh physically and spiritually but become one flesh and there's a sense of uh, where we're belonging to one another not that for the man that the wife is is his possession not n not that at all that actually that we belong to each other that we belong to each other and that we should care and look after each other and so this submission, this whole sense of submission, is, is, is that whole sense of, I love it in there, about preferring one another, preferring one, what, what the other person um, wants to do, what, what their desires are, what their, what, their, what their feeling are for things in, lives, in life. It's not a case of like, you know, woman, do this, woman, do that, we had a friend, and um, I hope he's not watching, please don't like that. But that's what, and, and, um, uh, and it was like, oh dear, um, and you know, that's it's not that kind of like you know sub being a subservient thing. This is not what su submission is talking about. This is what you know when we talk about submission, it, you know, it can get the um, it can give the it, it, things in a, in a bad context. No, this is talking about preferring one another. If you look at the stuff about the husbands, there's twi first of all, there's twice as much to say the husbands as to the wives. Okay. So maybe we, you know, we need to get rid of that selective hearing, blokes, and we need to read what it says. It also says husbands should love their wives as Christ loved the church. G 
Jesus gave his life for the church. He laid down, willingly laid down his life, willingly laid down his own, anything he wanted to do. Knew it was going to cost him a lot. You know, it cost him his, his life. He knew it was going to be, it would, it would have been horrendous, painful. He would have gone through so much. You know, in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus, this is what I was thinking about this. Jesus said, you know, he, he prayed and said, Lord, if this is not your, you know, please take this cup away, but yet not my will be done. But yours be done, Lord. So you see, being married is about a partnership. And most of the stuff here in these verses, it actually talks about Christ being the head of the church and how we should submit to him and how that we should love him. And it says, husbands, love, he should love his wife um, because he loves his own body. And so we should, we should do that. No one hates his own body but feeds and cares for it, just as Christ cares for the church. So it talks about how Christ gave up his life to make a holy and clean. This is talking about the church, by the washing of the word. So, so just a few thoughts there about this. Will I come back to this again tomorrow? I'm not sure. I might do. I might have another little think about this and have a look at this. Um, but, um, but don't, you know, we need to, what's really important is this, that actually being married is all about being a partnership. It's about loving God, loving one another, and being an example to others, about preferring one another. Yes, we have different roles and responsibilities. You know, Jesus said, you know, or, or Paul wrote, he said, you know, the body, one is the head, one is the hand, one is this, one is that, one is the other. We have different roles and responsibilities. And this is a designation, really, of what that's about. But actually, it is about belonging to one another, husbands and wives, and and just preferring one another and um, and loving one another and being an example of what it is to be a Christian and Christian in marriage. And, uh, you know, particularly in today's age when we, we really need Christians to stand up and to just to, to be an example to, to how marriage can work, how marriage can bring honour and glory to God. So I hope that helps. Um, please uh, don't throw any stones at me. Uh, for anything I might have said that's incorrect or, or you might think mm, I'm not sure about that um, but uh, that's just, just a few thoughts there for, for you today and I'll see you again tomorrow in Jesus name Amen